Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is the second super cool one. So, um, today my dad's still here. I think he's going to be on all of the videos, maybe not all of them. Hello again. <laughs> so, um, I, today I'm going to be show you, showing you how to make your own world from scratch, because today my um, world that I wanted to show you is really glitching right now. And it's the Coastal Village, or however you say it. So, coastal. Yeah, Coastal. So, now let's get started. Create new, and then you hit Generate Random. You pick the mode. I'm just going to pick that. Um, not always day, because I don't care. <laughs> so, um, you can name this whatever you want, but right now, I need to... Uh, do this. If you put an emoji and you're playing on your phone, if you put poop, it won't even, I mean, yeah, poop emoji, it won't even show up. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. So I'm going to name this one Death. And then, um. There's an A after the E. Oh, -E I forgot. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that really quick. And then write write death again and then put exclamation marks and then down here you hit that and I just like creative because I don't know why I'm not very good in survival because this is not a computer so you could set the difficulty I just like normal and then you hit play let's check out what we got here oh um, but first you have to start start on an area that you like. So if you're on creative mode, you might have to fly. Oh, last time I spawn pointed myself right here on Bridgewood. I don't know why. And um, sometimes you'll end up near a skinny beach. Or sometimes you might have to travel across the ocean just um, to find an island or something. So I'm going to start where pig brine is. I'm just kidding. They're regular pigs. I'm just going to kill it. <laughs> if I can. Go, go. You killing it with a torch? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now i got to destroy these because I don't want them in my world. Yeah, go pig brine. I like naming pigs and all that Is that a donkey back stuff. there? Yeah, that's a donkey. So, um, the deaths... For the death one, I'm going to trade the stone in with nether rack and then um, nether brick and nether brick stairs, nether slab, and uh, and flint and steel, and that. You're going to build with nether stuff because it's the death level? It's called death. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put nether rack all over the place and it will take a while to build your world um it's just because um you just started it and if you didn't just start it 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 won't really take long but it will still take long maybe to build something well if you're an expert at it not really i'm not exactly an expert but i'm still pretty good so when you start a new level, what's the first thing you recommend doing? Are, are you building a house now or a room to be in or something? Uh, well, you should do that, but right now I'm not because um, I, uh, I'm building death. So it's called death because I'm making it kind of like the nether. And it will take a while to... Um, uh, if you're an expert, no, I guess. <laughs> so, th this is going to be the nether one. And it will take me a while to build the area because it's going to be so, so large. And right now, it's kind of like that. But it's not going to be like that for long because I'm going to be doing more and more videos about uh, the another one. And I'm just going to keep building it for these videos. And 
And um, when I'm done with the nether one, which I'll probably never be, but like uh, done with the thing, I don't know how you say it, but whatever. So it's going to take a while, as you know that. And um, you'll have to build a house if you're on survival. You can just collect dirt and sand and wood. And um, you'll have to collect diamonds so you can earn achievements and then you can make armor or you can just collect diamonds for no reason. You can make a diamond sword. I don't care what it is. But um, in survival, you need a house crafting table, a furnace, and all that other stuff. Hey, so Arden, yeah? why don't, you know, you've shown them how to get started on their, their floor like that. Why don't we come back in a later episode to show them how far you've got. And then in the meantime, why don't we build like, um, you were showing me those, how to build the golems yeah. and stuff. Can you, can we see how that goes? Yeah, I can do it right now. I just need the ingredients. So the ingredients are a block of iron and a pumpkin. If you do it with a jack-o'-lantern, it won't really work. Sometimes it doesn't work building an iron golem because once I tried and it didn't work. So you can build a bunch of yeah, iron so cool. golems just to um, protect your world. So I'm just going to build it like this and then put pumpkins on it. There it is. And there the other one is. So there's three iron golems and they have super health. So if you try to kill it, it drops iron ingots and a rose. So I might have to move them out of the way by killing them because, uh, or maybe just, yeah, I'll have to kill it until it moves. So, um, I don't want him right here right now because I am building. Okay, so there we go. Get off my property. <laughs> Get off my property, Irons. Are they your friends? Are they like waiting for your instruction or something? Actually, they they are my friends, except uh, they're annoying me. But they're not waiting for my instruction. They look like they're saying, "Master, what should we do next?" Hello, red-eyed man. So, um, one time an iron golem was staring at me. And one time it kind of looked like it was following me because it kept staring at me and I kept going towards it. So that was kind of freaky. So to make everything level, you're exploding the grass and dirt and then filling yeah. it in with the, the nether Well, I'm not something? nether rack. See, nether rack. Well, I'm not really exploding it. I'm breaking it. So is there any more questions? Not about that. Oh, it catches on fire. Yeah, it's it's the nether. Nether is always on fire or with lava. So, yeah, it's always on fire. So what do you want me to do now? So what else would you do? You're just starting a level. You show them how to, like, build a cool-looking ground and a, a couple of those Yeah, so you would need a house. Okay. So it kind of takes forever for me to build because um, I always try to make giant ones. So why don't we just give them an idea about how it might look? It kind of might, maybe, I don't know what it will look like. But for your survival house, it might be made out of dirt. If you're a beginner and you barely know how to play Minecraft yet... So you have to place three blocks down like that. One, two, and another one. One, two, the, there, the, there's three. And then, uh, no, I don't need the fourth one. I meant to do it here. So you'll have to do that. There's your tiny entrance. Very cool. And then um, if you begin and you don't really know how to eat or stuff, at least you can just, make a furnace and expand your space you'll have to actually break a lot of dirt blocks if you want to make um like a giant house of it so you should probably get shelter asap so but this um, would be an example if you're playing you said on yeah 
on um, survival. survival mode. This would be like a little quick house you can make. Yeah. So that the uh, the mobs can't get to you. Torch is the easiest to make. Glowstone, eh, not so much. Mobs won't spawn in um, light areas. So if you don't know how to really do anything, you could just cover that. And with your nothing hand that has nothing in it, you could just uh, um, kind of light mobs on fire if you have a flint and steel. Or you could maybe just keep tapping that and try to kill mobs or something. So once I was doing really great, I crafted a lot of good stuff. And then in the middle of the night, the zombie killed me. Oh, man. I was kind of disappointed in myself because I was really looking forward to um, keep, you know, doing stuff. So can you light all that nether rack on fire and will it burn it or it'll just be on fire? It'll forever? just be on fire uh, forever unless you put it out. So you just break the fire to put it out. How you doing, Iron Golem? Hana bow bow, dinner's ready. <laughs> I like I like saying that because I always watch the crafting dead. So I can make honey boo boo <laughs> for no reason. So I have no idea why I'm making honey boo boo. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep continuing to make honey boo boo. <laughs> it's just gonna take a while. <laughs> What is Honey Boo Boo? That's from popular The Crafting memos? Dead. It's from The Crafting oh, Dead, okay. dude. And it's an iron golem. I mean, golem. Not golem. So you will need a pumpkin again. Uh, that did it work, so next time I'll try. It's actually okay. I'll just have to... The however you say it, what is it? Like, exp oh yeah, expand it. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. And if you can, um, and you're in survival, try to craft um, Splash Potion of Night Vision or, or Potion of Night Vision. I like the Splash Potion of Night Vision because you can throw it at people. Kind of like that. Cool. I'm throwing it at the iron <laughs> golems, and now they have night vision, so they can kill mobs. They don't just kill random stuff, and my foot just fell asleep, and it's really numb, so when I um, stop recording this video or something, I'll have to shake it out, and it will feel ticklish, and then, uh, I don't know what it will do really, but... It will start getting even more numb, and then I'll have to do that again and again, and it keeps going on. So, um, now I'm just keep building the nether rack one, and actually, right now I could build the honey boo boo thing. Why don't you give that a shot? Okay, again. I'll just do it. Okay, so um, I like using certain stuff I don't know why from from Minecraft so um I like using using brick um fences and dark oak doors I don't, I have no idea why I'm just doing that and then I'll just need the iron golem supplies I'm just going to trade that in with that and then we are all set. So you just do that and that, and we have an iron golem. So now um, let me just get sand from the crafting dead. Uh, not there, but here, and then here, and then here. And then I need a chest right there. And then... I need to trade it with uh, cookies because Honey Boo Boo loves cookies. If I can only find the cookies. Ooh, and cake. <laughs> she so also you, likes putting cake. stuff in the chest for Honey Boo Boo to eat? Uh, yeah. So that's actually not really Honey Boo Boo. 
if I could find the cake. Where's the cake? Oh, wait, cake, yay. So, I'm just going to put all 64 cake, I mean, the, the, that in there. And I'm going to get more cookies. More, more. She loves cookies. I could spawn Bob from the Crafting Dead. It's just a zombie. He's only a zombie. Ooh, kill the creeper. Eh, you can't. Anyways, so, um, we can continue with the nether rack later. So, you'll just need... <laughs> so, you'll need that. So, why don't we cut it here, love, and the next time you come back, you can show them how far you've gotten on your, your death world. Okay, I'm just... I'm... I'm just going to spawn point myself to Honey Boo Boo. Smile. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and let me know in the comment down below if you liked Honey Boo Boo. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.